Hi, I'm Dana, owner of Password Reset in Huntington Beach, California, and I want to thank you for visiting my website. If you're watching this video, you've probably forgotten your Windows password and can't log into your computer. Don't worry because you've come to the right place. Password Reset can get you logged back into your computer in just a few short minutes, and it'll be like you never had a problem in the first place. My solution works with all versions of Windows, including Windows 2000, XP, Vista, Windows 7, and the new version 8, plus all the server versions as well. I'm now going to show you how my new version 4 software works and how easy it is to remove a forgotten password. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to reset a password on a, uh, this is a Windows 8 uh, laptop here. And um, just to show you, there's the uh, account called Manager, and um, if we go ahead and try to put in a password and click that, it says password's incorrect. So we can't remember what the password is, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to create uh, a password reset um, boot device for this uh, computer so we can get back in the machine and it's uh, pretty easy so now we're going to go to a different computer that works and we're going to create the device so stay tuned for that okay now we're going to go ahead and uh, download the software and create our boot device so that we can log back into the machine that we're locked out of so I've chosen a uh, USB drive um, this is one that we send out to you if you order our on um, pre-made ones that you can buy and it has our uh, logo on there and so forth but I'm going to go ahead and do it um, again so I'm going to put that into the slot here the USB slot and then we're going to go ahead and go to the download page and you'll notice there's a download and instruction page here or you can go ahead and use this link here which is down in the middle of the, the page where you do your reading and then you'll see this come along and that will also take you there and then we have a couple of versions. Uh, we have our old version 3.0, um, which is, works on CD or USB or floppy. And that works with all versions of Windows, but it's not compatible with the latest hardware that's come out with the new Windows 8. So there is some machines that it's um, not working with, so that's why we came out with our new 4.5, which works with just everything. So it's um, very reliable. And um, it is a bigger download, so um, if you know, you're short on time and you're not using a new Windows 8 machine, you can always go with the version 3 if you want. Um, they're both available to you um, to use if you, um, you know, decide to get one, you get them both, so no worries there. Um, and what you do is you just go ahead and you click on the version you want, fully expand the instructions on this blue bar here, and then all your instructions are there, and you can just follow along. And the first thing that you do is you click here to download the software. So we go ahead and click that, and it's going to start downloading the file. Now, the file does take about a minute to maybe four or five minutes, depending on your machine. Um, mine's, uh, you know, going to take about a minute, it says. So, but instead of waiting, we're going to go ahead and just, you know, pretend like it's gotten all the way downloaded, and then we've moved it over to our desktop. So there's our file that we downloaded. Um, what we're going to do is then we just go ahead and launch that file, uh, double-clicking it. And if you get a security warning from Windows, you know, saying that, you know, this is an unknown file sort of, you know, warning, you can go ahead and say yes to anything like that because it is perfectly safe. And then it'll launch, and you'll see this is the standard version of Windows 4.5. And you just choose your media type. We've inserted our USB drive, so we just go ahead and select USB. And there it shows up, and we just begin copying. And that's going to put the, um, it's going to format the device to properly load up and, and reset the password. Now it has files on it, so we do have to tell it to erase what's on there. And just so you know, it does erase what is on the drive, so you will lose any data on your USB drive. So be sure that you have that backed up if you need that um, data. So, and we're just talking about your USB drive that you're going to use to reset the password, not you know your hard drive or anything like that, just that little um, drive. So we can go ahead and tell it to, and then we confirm yes. And it's going to start formatting. You'll see here it says formatting, and it's going to start going across until it gets to 100%. So that'll take just about you know 30 seconds maybe or something like that. And while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, our other uh, items that you can get. If you don't have a computer to use to make your own disk, you can always order ours. And we do ship them out nicely, like on a printed CD like this. And uh, you just uh, order it online, and uh, you can get the CD, the USB, both. We have a kit that comes in an actual uh, case like this, and it has um, it comes with both versions, the 3.0 and the 4.5. Um, and you can get and you get the USB and everything, so you can always order that if you want, or you can just get them all a card and say you just want the USB and that's it. And all the pricing is under the uh, the purchase uh, page, so you can always find that there. 
And now we're going back to this and uh, it's almost done. We're at 80% and by then it's just about finished. 94 and that should be about it. 99 and there we go. So now it says the boot disk is completed. And we're just going to go ahead and open up a, a browser, or not a browser window, but like a, um, just a, uh, where you can read the uh, files on the, on the drive. So I'm going to go here to the F drive, and it's going to show me that it created it correctly, because you see there's a bunch of files on there. You know, if you didn't see these files, then something didn't go right, and if it wasn't named PW Reset, you know, something didn't happen. So um, ours created fine, so there we go. We have um, a perfectly built device we can pull it out of the so this, um, socket and there we go so now we're going to move back over to the machine with the forgotten password and remove the password so we'll carry on with that in just a second okay so now we're back to our computer that we're locked out of and here we're getting that message about the password being incorrect and we don't know what it is so we're going to just say okay and now we're going to need to tell the computer and this is usually the case not always but you usually have to tell the computer that it needs to boot from your you know CD or USB drive that you've created so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut the computer down. And then we're going to restart it into the BIOS. And now if, if you have a newer in Windows 8 machine that's just come out recently, uh, the BIOS they use now is called the UEFI rather than the BIOS. So you may have one of those. Um, they're different from machine to machine. So you're, you're going to want to either look up on the internet, um, watch your computer screen if it flashes what to push to enter your setup or um, you know you can do a Google search my website has BIOS information and so forth or you can uh, even contact us if you're having trouble and we'll tell you what to do to get into your machine to change it so in our case here we're gonna just go ahead and hit the power button and for this one and a lot of computers you just hit the F2 key so I'm getting ready and as soon as it gets to the splash screen I start pushing F2 and it really goes into the BIOS and you'll see up here it has different tabs and I'm just gonna tab over to boot and here's the boot devices and our hard drive is the first device and we want to change that now to um, so that it is below our device now if it was a CD we'd want to do the internal optical drive which you see there um, we're using the USB drive you see it says USB flash USB optical and USB hard disk drive um, sometimes you don't know what it's gonna see the drive as like the USB drive it's gonna think it's a hard drive or not so what I do is I take the minus key and I'm going to bring the internal hard drive down below everything except floppy disk because we don't have one of those anyway. But I want to get it down below all the USB stuff because and I know for a fact in this machine it considers my boot drive, uh, the USB, uh, as a USB hard disk drive. So if I didn't have it below that it wouldn't work. So just a tip there, always make sure you have all your devices above the hard drive so that you know it's going to boot. So I'm just going to go ahead and put our uh, drive into this uh, slot. And I'm going to use F10, which is very common, to save the changes and exit. Say yes. And now it's going to reboot. And it's going to look very similar when it boots up to maybe the way your machine boots up when it's you know, booting into Windows. You can see, you see that when it zeroes in, Windows is loading the files. And that's because this is basically Windows on a USB drive, and it's loading Windows. So all you need to do is just... Uh, let it wait, and this goes a little quicker when it, you're using the USB drive. So just to let you know, so you can get a little focus going there. There we go, and in here you see it even really, really starts to look like Windows. But I know for a fact this isn't starting the Windows on the machine; it's starting the the disk drive, so or the SAN disk USB drive. And then from here forward, it's pretty quick. You can go ahead and just uh, wait for the desktop to appear which is just around the corner. There we go. And you'll notice it's obviously my software. It's got my logo and so forth up there. It's got a little quick guide to the side here that tells you how to use it. And as soon as the icons come up, we'll go forward. There's some icons over here that are the last thing to come up. There we go. And it automatically adjusted the resolution. So. Now, if you needed to change the resolution and you didn't like the way it was looking, you could just right-click and do the uh, screen resolution there and change your resolution to another one, to something that might look better. At any rate, you have your quick guide, like I said, and you have a help file here, and this has all the instructions with screenshots as well, just like on the website. And the software that you launch is right here. So, according to the instructions, you double-click on this, and that's what we're going to do. And you'll notice that we have this... Uh, program that opened up. I'm just going to move it up a little bit. And this is our password reset 
Now you notice, um, it's hard to tell, but the open key doesn't do anything. It's not, it's grayed out. So we need to get that to be able to open it up and see the, the usernames. So in order to do this, I know that uh, on this machine, our uh, OS or operating system is on the F drive, uh, or excuse me, the E drive. Um, and this is always set to C drive. So if your user, um, if your open key or open button isn't um, clickable, then you're going to need to change this. And what you want to do is just change it. It's going to be one of the first, you know, three or four letters of the alphabet. You just want to delete the C and put in a D. And then open still didn't go clickable. So I'm going to go backspace once more and go to E. And then you'll notice it found it. There's there's the uh, open key now or open button now clickable. So I just click on it, and there it brings up our usernames. And you'll see manager is there. And that's the one that's our main account that has you know admin privileges and stuff. You'll see administrator there too, but in this case, um, our main account we want to get into is just manager. So we just click on it, highlights it, and you'll see where it says to remove the password. We just click on that uh, and ask for an activation key. And so at this point is where you're finally going to have to make a purchase. And if you go to our website, you'll notice that there's a purchase uh, page there. It's under that URL there, by the way, or you can just go to the site and click it on the top there where the link is. And you're going to purchase the activation key. And then once you get that key, which is sent to you immediately, you go ahead and type it in here. So I'm going to type in the activation key. And I'm not going to let you see it because I don't want to give it away. But um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, type it in. And then I click OK. And then it goes away. And that means that the password's been re removed. And we do need to save the changes. If you don't save the changes, it won't remember that you removed it and it won't work. So you want to be sure and save changes. And you'll see now it's grayed out. So that took effect. So now our password is removed for the, that particular user. Now all we have to do is just exit. Now that we're done with it, we just do shutdown. It's going to bring up this. And we don't need to eject the CD because we use the USB. So I'm going to take that off of there just so it doesn't open the drawer. And then we're going to do a restart. Now, before I restart, I do want to take out this. Because with this out, it will go ahead and go to the hard drive since it won't be able to find the, the boot, uh, boot CD or boot USB. So I don't even have to change that BIOS back if I didn't want to. But um, you may want to because it might try to boot up from other you know, CDs or you know, if you put a drive in there, it might see it. You try to boot from it so you can put that back if you want. And here comes the uh, Windows screen. And this is a Windows 8 machine. It's not on the newer hardware, but it does run Windows 8. And in just a second or two here, we should get our login. There we go. OK. Now we're getting a error here. Wants me to restart my PC. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. So if you get any kind of uh, message like that, if it doesn't boot right in, just go ahead and uh, tell it to reboot. In most cases, it'll probably just boot right in. But in this case, it detected that the uh, shutdown, it didn't uh, care for the way it was shut down. So it went ahead and uh, gave us that error. And it's kind of good that you saw that, so you can see it. Now, I'm just asking me to choose an operating system. This is a dual boot machine, so it's, it has an earlier version of Windows, and I just need to tell it to go to Windows 8. And now, when it's going to go up and go to the login screen that we didn't know the password of, instead, it's just going to go ahead, and there's Manager, and it's welcoming in. So it doesn't even ask for a password. It just goes straight in. And there we go. We're logged into Windows 8, and uh, the password has been reset. Everything is the same as before. You can put a new password in, but uh, nothing's been changed or altered. You know, There's nothing that's going to be different. You're going to have all your programs, all your files. Everything is going to be perfectly uh, the same as it was before. So that's it. Your password's been reset, and you are now back in business, and that's all it takes. And then you can even use the software again if you forget your password again, and uh, you know, there's no more trouble with it. So. Hope you enjoyed our little video here and it helps you uh, with your uh, password resetting and uh, if we can help you just let us know we have a contact us page and just uh, let us know what you need and we'll be glad to help you out thanks for uh, visiting and uh, hope to talk to you soon bye